Hello everyone, you are watching The Cycling Day. Bike brand loyalty. Some of us have it and some of us don't. And those who swear by brands will have their reasons to back certain teams. So why don't we show you the five most successful bike brands of the season of 2021. We're basing this on a point system I myself have made up, giving the points to the podium only. With five points being for first, three points for second, and third will give them a measly one point that can probably help them anyway. So let's begin. Coming in at fifth, we have Colnago. And the fact that this brand has made to fifth is incredible because of the one and only most contribution to the success is Bogaccia, winning so many races with little help from his teammates that are so far apart from him. He won the UAE Tour, Adriatico and other stage races along with that and not only that he won the Tour de France with three jerseys as well as two monuments in the same year. And it's because of Conagel's Il Lombardia win, Canyon have missed out on 5th place as they were tied before that happened. 4th on the list is the bike brand I have no bias to even though I do own a road bike of this particular brand and that is Merida, the brand of Bahrain Victorious, the team to beat in the future no doubt. They are the Dekerna quick step of the Persian Gulf. The team is solid and that helped them capture a great array of results. The one to talk about of course arguably is the hardest one day race of the season and that is the Paris Roubaix and that was done with Sonny Cobrelli and done on a debut too. But of course no extra points sadly for that. But the rest that helped Merida get high up on this list of course was the podiums across the board as well as a 1-2 finish in the Benelux Tour. Third is no surprise and that is Cervelo of the powerful Jumbo Visma team. A very formidable team out there and having such a great talent and even the mighty Wout van Aert on their side has helped them get great success this season. This is actually the first season for them using the incredible sexy Cervelo S5s that have the most interesting handlebar design I've seen for aerodynamics in any case. Despite that being on Lady Lux hit list in France, Primoz Roglic did help this brand put themselves out there with the Tour of the Basque Country where he won it and behind was the future of Denmark and that was Jonas Vinigal, his teammate. And we can't leave out the Grand Tour win of the Vuelta España and let's not forget trying his luck at La Flèche Wallonne. Wout van Aert of course did a lot for the team, showing resilience even against seemingly superior rival Mathieu van der Poel. He did come second behind Tadej Pogacar in Terreno Adriatico and won Amstel Gold against Pickcock in a controversial manner, as it was a win for them anyway and Cervelo most importantly. In the end, Jumbo Visma is the only one that uses the fellow brand in the World Tour level and the simple fact that this team helped the brand get more publicity is just impressive in itself. Second place goes to Penarello. Now there's no surprise about this with the very formidable Ineos Grenadiers and its sole sponsor of the team of the World Tour for a long time now. In fact, since the inception of when it was Team Sky. But this year, of course, the team have been formidable with a lot of podiums and even wins. Their biggest one, of course, was the Giro. Even at the start, they did very well. Adam Yates getting a podium at the first race of the season, that is the UAE Tour. And even the Tour de France as well with their podium. They showed incredible form in the Tour de Suisse, the Dauphiné and Romandy before the Tour de France. And of course they finished the season off with a third place at Il Lombardia for Ineos and Pinarello as well. And now finally we come to the most successful brand and it has of course come with little help from Bora Ansgrove but the main reason this bike brand has destroyed the rest of the scoring system is because of the Koenig Quick Step. This was a team to be feared. They are ferocious, determined and have the world champion of the road and possibly the heir to the throne as well in their ranks. They racked up so many wins it's hard to count but of course we are determining this mostly from world tour wins though bear in mind. It was a great start to Specialised as it got Bora Hansgrow to win the Paris Nice with a bit of luck obviously and some podiums more known is the Strada Bianchi showdown with Mathieu van der Poel and Alaphilippe at the final stretch of the city of Siena where it concludes and of course Specialised's biggest publicity win was when Kasper Asgreen won against the demigod himself Mathieu van der Poel in the Tour of Flanders and of course we can't leave out Omloop Het Newsblad, Classic Bruges de Pan and even the stage race Tour of Poland. It's safe to say that Specialised have chosen their representatives 
pretty well. And obviously that comes to the end of the list, I'm afraid, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. So if you did, please like it. And of course, most importantly, subscribe to the Cycling Day Extra for more videos like this. And most importantly, guys, we would really appreciate it if you also subscribe to the main channel that is the Cycling Dane, where we focus more on races, transfers, previews of races, as well as recaps of races and all sorts. All race-centered content, basically. And with that, guys, that's it for me. And as always, have a nice day.